We're here today celebrating the opening of the two very important shows, uh, Marilyn Monroe, Life is a Legend, and Marilyn in Canada. My name is Katrina Tanasova, and I'm the chief curator of the McMichael Canadian Art Collection. We indeed venture into a new territory by introducing pop art and culture. Uh, I mean, it's with our regular permanent collection displays at the McMichael and Kleinburg. Within the context of bringing art, art that mirrors life in particular, uh, the symbol of Marilyn Monroe as a legend is perhaps one of the most vivid and vibrant in recent decades. <laughs> A lot of the artists who are featured in this exhibition were very famous already back in the day when Marilyn um, was becoming a movie star and even today we have a variety of photographers and um, we have Bruno, uh, Bruno, Bruno Bernard, Bernard of Hollywood. We also have images by Milton Green and Douglas Kirkland, Sam Shaw. Willie Rizzo and Bert Stern. We have a huge uh, pop art section um, and we have uh, Andy Warhol's images of Marilyn Monroe. It's really through Andy Warhol that we have come to know Marilyn Monroe, specifically from the 1960s and on. He immortalized her image uh, that we first saw in um, 1953 with the emergence of the film Niagara. It was Frank Powalny and Jean Kornman who photographed uh, Marilyn when she was filming her uh, movie Niagara. And that image became later reinterpreted in the art of Andy Warhol, as well as other contemporary pop culture artists. I'm curator of the Maryland and Canada exhibition. That is a complimentary exhibition that is included with Marilyn Monroe Life as a Legend. This show contains photographs, sculptures, and mixed media artworks created by artists working in Canada and also it addresses the legacy of Marilyn Monroe and her impact on visual artists, literary artists and the kind of legacy that she left with us. Another series of works were taken by John Vachon, an American photographer working for Look magazine. Those were taken in the summer of 1953 and John Vachon was there because Look wanted to have an overview of the film that was being made at the time. It was called River of No Return. And John Vachon, working with his photo editor, wanted to set up shots that had a Canadian feel to them. So we have images of Marilyn in a canoe, Marilyn with Mountie, uh, Marilyn with a, a stuffed bear that has this very rural um, Banff kind of feel because they were shooting the film in Banff. There's works by Douglas Copeland, who is probably best known as the author of Generation X, but he actually began his career uh, training as a visual artist and had early exhibitions of his, his work. Another artist who's working with imagery that was influenced by Marilyn Monroe is Bonnie Baxter, a Quebec-based artist. She chose a different approach to how she wanted to interpret Marilyn. The initial inspiration for her work was her own life experiences. She created this character called Jane, and then she created this series of photographic images that reflect a kind of personal journey, but it also can be interpreted as a, in a broader sense. And uh, some of the images look at this figure, this blonde-haired figure that do, does strongly resemble Marilyn as this kind of isolated person. Somebody, there's a sense of aloneness, there's a sense of distance, and it almost reflects the kind of uh, expressions that Marilyn had about feeling alone, the, the overwhelming sense of loneliness, and it seems to parallel those kinds of ideas about who Marilyn was as a person.
There's a lot to see. There's a little bit for everyone. Uh, for those who are interested in Marilyn as a film actress, there's a lot to see through the photographs. For those of us who are interested at Marilyn's life, who she was, who she married, her relationship, there's a lot of that as well here at the McMichael. But for some of us who are interested in art, um, in art history and where contemporary art has gone, um, and how contemporary international artists have taken images like Marilyn Monroe and turned it into um, a phenomenon for many art lovers to enjoy. There's issues uh, to look at like our fascination with Hollywood, um, the film industry, um, our fascination with glamour and beauty and, and sex icons. There's all of that at the McMichael Canadian Art Collection. Thank you.